Aloha, my name is Saul Kaho'ohalahala. I'm from the island of Lanai, and with your support, I'd like to be the next mayor of Maui County. There are a few things that I think we should all give serious thought to in this upcoming election, and that's uh, considering our food security. I think it's time for Maui Nui to consider uh, diversifying our agriculture and being producers of our own food so that we uh, are not going to be as vulnerable as we are. I know currently that we import approximately 90% of the food that we consume in Hawaii. So it is important for us to consider that as an area that we should uh, diversify and make it an economic engine for us. To do agriculture, water is going to be an important issue. We need to look at water as a resource that's finite and something that we have to think about in terms of regenerative and replenishment. So how we use that drop of water is important. Recycled water has to be a part of the solution for agriculture. And lastly, energy has to be a, a part of our future because we are the most isolated islands in the largest ocean on Earth. So it is incumbent on us to take advantage of all of the renewables we have from sun, wind, and ocean currents so that we can provide the power and the energy that we require to live in Hawaii and make it sustainable for us so that we don't have to use fossil fuels. And I'd like your support because that's the direction we should redirect our islands. What are your thoughts on smart growth and what will you do to prevent urban sprawl in Maui County? You know, uh, smart growth to me is uh, something that is not new to Hawaii. If you look back for uh, nearly 2,000 years that the Hawaiian people have been here, they have been uh, people who are very sensitive to their environment. They have been very mindful of their resources. So how they develop and use these islands are a good example of what we might pay attention to and take a look at as we move forward how we plan the, the future and the growth of our islands has to incorporate the idea of being uh, efficient in the use of our resources. Uh, we have to look at utilizing our, our renewables to make that a part of our future so that living can be comfortable and not costly. Um, and um, making sure that uh, we can feed ourselves and we have sufficient supplies of natural uh, resources. Planning is an important tool. The Maui Island Plan the Maui County General Plan should serve as a guidance. But if we look farther back than that, let's take a look at how Hawaiians viewed planning and incorporate some of those kinds of concepts where Maokamakai accesses were ensured, water stream flows were ensured, and that everyone has uh, the ability to continue to use these resources. And that's how we should be looking at planning from what has been tried and tested uh, in our past and in applying some of those concepts as we move forward because they're conducive to our islands. And we gotta remember, we still live on islands in the largest ocean on earth, um, thousands of miles away from anyone. So uh, smart growth means incorporating all of that. And that's how we should look at our future. What are your thoughts on the county's permitting process for bed and breakfast operations? Should the approval of B&Bs rest in the hands of the council members or in the mayor's appointed planning director? You know, looking uh, forward toward uh, permitting of BNBs, it's an industry that I think uh, has uh, emerged. Um, I was responsible when I was on the council previously uh, to uh, put this BNB bill in place. What is, I think, evident today is that while we created an opportunity to allow bed and breakfasts to, to be a part of our communities, uh, as time changes and as we move forward, the conditions of our communities also change. So that ordinance uh, needed to be reshaped and amended to make it better than it was when it first began. Ultimately, I think it is still incumbent on the council to be responsible for permitting because there may be conditions that are gonna be necessary in reshaping the bill to ensure that there's fairness across the board and without some kind of oversight uh, by a uh, a, a legislative body or a policy-making body, um, it might just be uh, uh, placed in uh, discretionary power. And that, to me, would, could potentially become a problem. So oversight by the policy-making body, I think, is a good thing. Placing conditions on moving forward is a good thing because it's looking at finding balance and fairness. And someone needs to be able to do that that is not just discretionary. So I would support the council's continued uh, oversight over this industry. You know, um, the island of Maui has experienced a lot of fire incidents recently. One of them was attributed to fireworks. 
What is your thoughts on a potential fireworks ban? Would you be in support of that or against it? You know, um, I think we all grew up with the, you know, fireworks being part of a, a cultural kind of a activity. But I think, again, when we look at the times and we look at the conditions, uh, obviously our Hawaiian Islands are going through environmental changes that uh, we have very little control over. Um, I do know that in one of the more uh, recent scientific studies of the Hawaiian Islands, uh, they have said that the Hawaiian Islands are warming at a far f uh, quicker rate than um, most places on Earth. And that should be of concern to us because that warming means that our islands are uh, potentially drying up. And with that, we're creating areas uh, within the Hawaiian Islands that have been in drought conditions for now uh, several years. So with that kind of thought in mind, the issue of whether or not we should continue to allow fireworks becomes something that we need to give uh, more consideration to. There are also health issues that have all often uh, been uh, you know, uh, raised with the, the intense uh, amount of smoke that permeates our community. So given those kinds of uh, uh, concerns, um, I would be in support uh, of a ban on, on fireworks because I think it's an appropriate policy for what is appropriate in these times. The next topic is on transient accommodations tax. If elected to serve, what would you do to ensure that Maui keeps its share of the TAT? You know, the TAT is uh, really controlled by the state legislature, but I think um, it will be incumbent upon me as mayor of Maui County to be sure that um, I spend a good quality time because legislation really is simply majority rules. And if we cannot get the majority to help support our issues here in Maui County, then obviously uh, we would be ineffective. But as your mayor, I think uh, I come with the experience of being at the state legislature for four years. And it is real clear to me that all rule and all laws that are made uh, really come by a simple majority. And if the TAT is an important part of our uh, income because we are part of the visitor industry, uh, this is uh, something that will continue to support us in that area of, of tourism that uh, as your mayor, I'm going to continue to network with the legislature uh, to ensure that we can get the, the majority of both houses, Senate and the House, to help us uh, and be an advocate for that. So um, I look forward to those kinds of opportunity. What are your plans to improve wastewater treatment on Maui and your thoughts about injection wells? You know, uh, currently we do have the capability of taking wastewater and treating it to an R2 and an R1 level. And the R1 level is the, the highest level of treatment that makes uh, water, you know, clean even with ultraviolet uh, to, to clean up uh, pathogens that are within water. So we do have the capability and the technology to do that right now. The problem we have is that we're just dumping approximately 80% of that water into injection wells. And that uh, we know just by scientific monitoring that these are having impacts on our ocean and marine uh, environments uh, by algae blooms and, and things like that. Um, I think it's time for us to look at water um, as a resource and that recycled water is just as important as a resource as good, clean, pure drinking water that comes from our, our ground wells. And in our administration, as your mayor, then that would be a priority to make sure that we're going to look at efficiencies for the use of water. We're no longer going to be uh, putting them down into injection wells that we know are environmental hazards. So uh, that's what I think we should be steering toward in terms of uh, reuse water and the elimination of injection wells. Um, at this point, is there any closing thoughts? Maybe you touch upon something that I didn't ask you that you think is important, or um, just to give some campaign contact information for the constituents. I think that moving forward, what I hope that would resonate with all of you is that it is time for us to be very serious about where we want to be in our future. Um, the Hawaiians have an olelo no eao that says, ikawama mua, as you're moving forward, ikawama hope. Look at your past for the experiences and for the examples of how you can move forward. And I think that for these times, it is important for us to be reminded that we need to be serious about our future. So let's take a look at where we have come from. Let's understand what the conditions of these times are that make it difficult. And then let's bear upon our innovation and our leadership 
to move us in a direction that's going to be sustainable for our future. So I call upon you to join me in that new voyage to redirect our canoes in Maui Nui and help us to find a better path that's going to be based on sustainability, it's going to be based on uh, regener regeneratives, and uh, that we're looking for the generations to come. For more information, I would ask you to go to my website, it's solveformayor.org, and I'd like to remind you to don't forget to vote on September 18th in the primary. Only the first, the top two uh, vote getters in the mayoral's election can advance to the general, and I want to be uh, one of the two. So, mahalo, thank you very much.